Hi guys, we're over here at Castle Hill Exhaust and Performance Centre. We've got an FG G6C Turbo that's going to, it's in for a turbo upgrade. It's already had an intercooler done, uh, injectors, tune, exhaust and fuel pump. We're going to be putting a Precision 64, 66 uh, turbo onto it. It's a straight bolt-on upgrade. So let's see how it goes today. Okay, on the right hand side here we've got a Garrett uh, GT30 turbo, which is a factory unit that's uh, installed on the G6E turbo. Uh, this is about a 52, 53 mil uh, size turbo. On the left here we have the Precision uh, 64, 66 mil. So that's the difference in the sizes we're going. We're going from about 52, 53 up to a 66. And the factory turbo is water cooled, whereas the PTE Precision turbo isn't. So we've had to put some little block offs in there to stop the water, and which is a very simple thing to do, and not a problem at all. It won't cause any issues with the cooling of the turbo or anything like that. The turbo will still respond, no problems. It will still function the way it should. There'll be no overheating or anything like that involved at all. So the boys are just going to fit this up now to the manifold, and we'll get it onto the car as soon as we can.
Okay guys, we've just done the turbo upgrade on this G6E turbo. We went from the Garrett original factory turbo GT30 to the Precision 64-66mm turbo. And with the GT30 it had 300 rear wheel kilowatts. We now put this turbo on, this upgrade, and it's made 421 odd rear wheel kilowatts. So a gain of 120 odd rear wheel. So that sort of increase of power, would have seen that this car go from about a 12 second car, low 12 second car, to now a potentially high 10 second car, at, at the very least 11 ones, 11 twos, slicked up on a, on a drag radial, it'll probably run a high 10. Um, and the car is automatic, so it's, these, these sort of times are definitely achievable. Now, the cost for something like this is about $3,500 for this turbo upgrade uh, with precision, and doing that at a workshop with, uh, as a bolt-on with a couple of other little accessories that, ne that are needed to complete the installation. So, 120-odd rear-wheel kilowatts for three and a half grand, it's a winner in my books.